Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the next video of our lab four of the EC five seven three advanced embedded logic design. In the previous video, we discussed about the block diagram design, SDK code, average execution time between the PL and PS. Now we will focus on the uh, how to use the cross triggering. So we have already enabled the cross triggering in the uh, block diagram. So now here we need to enable in the SDK. So go to the debug debug config configuration. Here you can see that there is an enable cross triggering option. Make sure you enable it. And then in this one, you need to add the two uh, settings. One from the CPU to, P, uh, uh, to the FPJ. So that's you need to add, uh, click uh, enable this CPU and the FTM on the right hand side. And the second setting is the opposite one, the CPU here and the FTM here. So you need to enable these two uh, settings, click OK, click on apply and you are ready for the debug, okay? So once you are uh, uh, done with these settings, your code has started executing on the processor, then you need to go to the Vivado, uh, then you need to open the hardware manager and uh, make sure you are connected to the board. So I am trying to see if I have already connected to the board or not. Okay, so I have not connected to the uh, board. So let me check the IP address of the board. Okay, so I have connected to the board. It will take some time to get the uh, uh, ILA data. Okay, so now first thing what we will do is that we will uh, see the triggering from the SDK to the FPJ. So whenever the SDK code stops, at that point, the ILA gets triggered and the data of those debug signal gets captured and uh, we can see it here, okay? So I'll remove the trigger here. So I just want this to be on the, uh, on the trigger in so that whenever the, we get the uh, data from the ILA, when the, whenever the software code stop, then you get the data. So here, this is for the auto trigger. So once one trigger happens, it may immediately capture the data and wait for the next trigger. So now I'll run the code, okay? So, okay, there are certain settings to go out, should be make here, did I do any changes? Okay, it should be trigger in. Okay, so now I'm waiting for the trigger. So let's see. So what I'll do in the first function is the ACP. So I'll go to the ACP function and run it to the particular line. Okay, so let's go to the ACP function and let's run it to the particular line. When the code stop here, okay, so this is still here and you will see that the, the data is captured. Some data is captured at that point automatically and the my uh, ILA will wait for the, uh, uh, will start capturing the next trigger. It should have uh, start capturing, okay, yeah. Then uh, somehow it has not executed. So let's do it again. Okay, so again, it has, the trigger is working, but somehow this code is creating the uh, it, is, it has went to the last loop, so we'll run it again. So what we are going to do is that we are going to stop here and we are going to uh, again configure the board. Okay, so we'll do the debug. And here, instead of the yeah, trigger in and trigger in, so here I'm getting the trigger in input. I'll just run it here. So it is waiting for the triggering. So let's run till this point. So now my code is here. Again, it has captured the trade data and it has it is waiting for the next trigger. So let's go to the ACP function. I'll go to the step line. Okay, so you can see that again, the data will be captured. Okay, so let's go to the next line. 
okay again the data will be captured and you can see it is waiting for the next trigger right now you are not seeing any data because there is nothing is happening over the axi protocol because right now we have not yet reached the tma so now what i'll do is that i'll um, uh, execute till this point let's see if it get executed yeah and now here you will see that at least some uh, thing should happen on the axi1 and you will see that a lot of things are happening over the axi1 and since we are in the acp you can see that the dm fft output of the acp is uh, is uh, is getting captured so this is a very uh, important thing where you can uh, whenever the c code stop the trigger is sent to the ila and the ila captures that data so that's a very important feature so here ila is in auto trigger mode so let's run this code till he this point and let's see whether it captures you can see the trigger has happened it has captured the data there nothing has no, no data because here you are in the or still in the cache invalidate here so i'll just run it to this line it is not coming out of this line yeah now it has come out of this line let's see if it has yeah so you can see something has happened and you can see that there is a, uh, a traffic on the gp0 interface because what you are doing in the recent one you are just reading the status register from the uh, uh, dma so that is nothing but the gp0 interface so this is the feature of the uh, triggering cross triggering from sdk to the ila now next we will see the opposite one where you get the trigger from the ila and your c code stops okay so i'll just stop it here uh, disconnect it i'll do the programming again uh, uh, again just to be make sure that we are on the same starting point and now here after the fpj gets configured okay once the fpj gets configured i'll add the trigger signal here now now i'll add the trigger signal from the uh, axi gp port because lot of traffic is happening on the gp port and i'll add it on the address valid signal i'll make the 0 to 1 transition as a trigger signal and here i'll make the uh, basic trigger because i am going to do the the trigger will come out from this basic trigger and then that will pass there to the sdk so let's see so you can see that what will happen now uh, when i run the code whenever this trigger happen my c code should stop uh, let's figure it out if it is happening or not yeah something has happened you can see that the, there is a trigger on the uh, valid port the trigger has happened and my c code has stopped at that particular time okay now let's run it again because there will be many trigger will happen on the gp port again another trigger has happened data has captured and that you can see it on the uh, the code has stopped at that particular time again run the code okay again uh, the trigger has happened data has been captured and uh, your code uh, c code has stopped so you can see that this cross triggering whenever the trigger happen and ila your c code stop and the corresponding data gets captured it's very important feature for the debugging so you can explore this feature in more detail uh, there are a lot of features in the ila you can look at the debugging manual from the xilinx for more details